Give it up for Russell McMahon. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you. So this um, is a um, poster I put together back actually for a conference in October this past year. But before I talk more about that, I want to get a quick shout out to Nathan who did the improv because those are the same guys I actually go through on my improv training. So it was really neat to see the pictures because I could relate to everything he was showing. So I'm a professor at the University of Cincinnati and I sometimes have to look for things to do and I was looking at a document I wrote back in 1981, so that's like 37 years ago. Some of you guys may not be 37 at this point in time. I understand that, and I was looking at, I put a dead of a manual for teachers at the high school I was teaching at the time. I said, you know, this is kind of interesting stuff that I just found here, and I'd found some other things as well. But I said, you know, I think I got a, maybe a poster out of this, so I decided to make a proposal on the poster, and, and this is where it kind of went to, was I had to pick, I had over 100 pictures I had found through various sources I had. Some cases, I don't even know where I found them. And, and so I had to pick these, and, and so I'm going to give you some of the ones I found. But I also wanted, and most of these come from the 1970s. I have a couple of things from the 60s and one from the 80s. I'm really trying to go back into the 50s and 40s because the first actual functioning computer came out in 1946. And I'm interested how people treated these things in a humorous manner. What did this actually do and what was going on? So in the 1970s, just to give you a quick idea, there were some things going on with robots. In 1971, there was an attempt to use AI, pretty interesting, to control a robot called Shaky the Robot. It didn't work too well, I suppose. In 1972, Stepford Wives came out. Anybody know what Stepford Wives are? Okay. Uh, there'll probably be a Stepford husband someday, I'm sure, as well. And then in 1977, you may know something about a little swashbuckling type of movie that came out with some really darling robots, R2-D2 and CP3O came out. So robots seem to be a kind of a theme that I ran into when I was doing this. So uh, you're going to see a few slides in that, but before I get to that, there's a few other things that humor came out. Sometimes humor was meant to slam a company. Now back in that time period, who was the number one? Who was the top dog back in 1970? Anybody know? IBM. So there's giving a couple of slams here you're going to see in IBM. And if you look at this, you might pick up on these right now. Um, the computer is down. Everybody think to don't bother to think. What was IBM's motto? It was think. So this is a shot at IBM, of course. It's interesting because other people took this same concept of think. Bill Gates did it at Microsoft and was think smart. Okay, let's think dumb. I don't know. But think smart there. So it was kind of interesting that I saw other people move this concept a little bit further here. But this was my oldest comic I found. Uh, anybody familiar with Archie? Okay, this was actually 1965, which I thought was fascinating because this would have been in a high school. I can't think of any high schools that actually had a computer there. But we, we have the principal and, and the secretary, you bought this computer at Army Surplus Sale. That's pretty amazing right there. And he says, yes, and to test it out, I put all my qualifications to those as students. Um, this is a wonderful report even came out as classified as public or private, or personal or public. And he says, my results are marked private, which he thinks is pretty cool, because he says, you know, that we've got keeping information private. But no, she says, I don't think that's the kind of private that it means there. Archie came out as a brigadier general. Kind of interesting, and it's also implying hacking occurred. These guys are anticipating what, of course, we now have to live with daily, is hacking. And this is just kind of a little more of um, programmer humor here. Uh, when are you going to learn the difference between a fly and a floating decimal? Um, and where did you learn to debug a program? 
And we still have those questions. I ask my students that sometimes. Where did you learn to do this? And I mentioned robots kind of got popular back in that time period. So here's the one. My programmer doesn't understand me. And of course, in about the past month, there have been some Dilbert things on robots where they were actually configuring a robot to do certain things. So it's kind of interesting. You see, this was back in the 70s, what people were thinking. Or the not so subtle thing here of the Stepford Wives. Uh, you can start packing ethyl. My new cyborg is almost done. The reality is, it's going to be a reality. 60 Minutes had a thing on it last year. We may be replaced, and they may be datas running around saving the universe, I don't know. But um, it could happen in some way, shape, or form. There's another thing that I picked up on this. We know there's not many women in IT, so this is what it really shows here. If they do, they have menial tasks. Um, and then computer dating, which I think is kind of cool because it's particularly the one, gee, my first computer date, I wonder what he's going to look like. Yeah, OK. Computer dating has been around since the 60s as well. So I'm going to stop right there. But you can kind of see, here's the woman bringing home the computer from her office. That's what the computer looked like back then. So thank you very much.